Moving back now to the Middle East and a dose of science and military news. The U.S. government is investing in an Israeli company's groundbreaking treatment for deadly radiation exposure. There will be a test conducted by the U.S. Department of Defense. The Israeli biotech company Pluristem Therapeutics has developed groundbreaking cell therapy to heal patients exposed to radiological attacks. The Department of Defense in the United States wants to examine the cell therapy treatment for acute radiation syndrome. The belief is it could help one day protect soldiers from dirty nuclear bombs, attacks, even nuclear plant disasters. Uh, for more on this story and to break it down, I'm joined in studio by Zami Aberman. Zami is the CEO of Pluristem Therapeutics. Thanks for being with us here on the program. All right, I'll be honest, I'm not a... I wasn't, didn't do very well in science, but just if you were to explain it in simple terms, how does the science work? If I'm exposed to deadly levels of radiation, what, what does your company do that could save my life and reverse it? We are using nature. We take cells from the placenta after birth. Like a baby placenta, like that thing. It's what we turn after, what we mind after the baby is yeah. giving birth. And then we collect cells from this re the region that actually develops the hematological system of the baby, of the fetus. So we collect those cells, expand them, and generate a product in a bottle that can be used whenever it's needed to treat victims. The acute radiation syndrome, if, if, if someone is exposed to that, how much, how crucial is every second before you know, it, it, we're talking about that? The common knowledge was that you have to treat those patients before the exposure. What we demonstrated in our studies, that we can treat those patients up to 48 hours following the exposure to radiation and to save their lives. So the U.S. Department of Defense is piloting this study. How important is that? I mean, for, your, for, the, for this technology, for the science, and also you know, for, for Floristem, what does that mean that the U.S. government is really interested in what you're doing? It's a vote of confidence on our technology. Just as a background, in the last four years, we are working with the NIH, American NIH, to develop the product to treat victim after the exposure of radiation. This new uh, contract with the Army is actually suggests something different. It suggests that the PLX treatment can be given to soldier before entering into the radiation zone and to save the life. Right, so if they know they're going into an area that's exposed to radiation, or if there's a nuclear power plant meltdown or disaster or terror attack, you can preemptively prepare the body to, to go in. Two things. One, preemptively prepare the body, or immediately after the exposure, to give a dose, a shot of our PLX R18 product and to treat those patients. So what does the U.S. Department of Defense do now? When does this trial start? How long does it take? First of all, I would like to applaud the NIH and the Army, U.S. Army, that they enter into those testing years ago. The NIH started working with us four years ago, and we proved that our cells can be helpful when injected 24, 48 hours after the exposure to radiation. The Army will do it immediately after the exposure or before. So the studies are done on animal because you cannot expose patient or what people. What kind of animals are you using? Rats you do or rats, rodent, and later on you go to large animal which are non-human primates. It's going on now. It's going all the time. Uh, we are in the process of uh, expanding the experiment. Uh, we did experiment uh, on non-human primates. It was a pilot study, and now we are entering into a phase three-like study, which will include about uh, 120, 50 animals and with the army you are starting with rodent and moving later on to the larger one. It's obviously I mean very an important development that the US Department of Defense is aware of the work you're doing but you're an, Isra an Israeli company what about the IDF what about middle in here in the Middle East? We talk to them we cannot explore too much because as you know those are confidential issues before released by the government or by the Israeli army. Can so you we say are there ongoing talks? We are, Ongoing talks with the Israelis, with other countries that are or want to be ready for uh, exposure of radiation. As you know, in Asia we have uh, a few potential candidates in Europe. So, uh, so this is a shot, basically, right? Yeah. So just, I mean, explain to us, you know, kind of uh, in layman's terms again, the radiation. What does it do to your body? I mean, what is it doing that, that kills you? And when you get the shot, 
And what, you know, from the placenta cells, and what, what's going on that reverses it? In the first few hours, the cells protect the victim, the patient body, from damages. It takes time to recover the full hematological and immunological system of the patient. So in the first few hours, it protects, and then it starts to release a cocktail of protein in order to rebuild the hematopoietic system and to reconstruct the white blood lineages, the red blood lineages, and the platelets. This is from a placenta? This is all from a baby? I mean, how does that think, amazing think stuff? About, think about, about it, that the placenta is the one that's feeding the baby from one egg to become a full body within nine months. So we collect the cell from this region and generate our product. Is there a civilian use for this as well? Of course. We have a few products from the placenta. Uh, the first product is targeting critical ischemia, which is a severe unmet need following diabetic, obesity, or heavy smoking. And the cells are injected into the patient leg in order to save their legs from amputation. You have about five million people in the US suffering from that indication. We can use those cells for orthopedic injuries like femoral neck fractures. We are using the same PLX R18 cells to treat patients after insufficient bone marrow transplantation and graftment or bone marrow failure. So you have many applications. What is it that the exposure to radiation, what does it do to the body if left untreated? If left untreated, mostly of the, of the patient, of the people, of the victim will die from internal complication, internal bleeding, and... and very, uh, it's a painful... It's a painful death. death. Wow, how about that? From, all from a placenta, all from a baby's placenta. Joining again here in studio, Zami Aberman. Zami uh, is the CEO of Pluristem Therapeutics. We know that the trial is ongoing now with the U.S. Department of Defense and ongoing discussions. Uh, can't go more into than, than that, but ongoing dialogue and, and going on with the Israel Defense Forces as well. Really groundbreaking stuff. And it all comes back to the research, all comes back to the placenta from from a baby's birth. How about that? Really cool stuff. Thank you, Zami, for bringing Thank us you. the story to our attention and your viewers around the world.